go back to Coruscant. The Mantis has changed. Oh, yeah. Cal and Vote, they ain't exactly the cleaning types. I cleaned this morning. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. That, that's on me. Mara, I didn't know you were coming. Hey, maybe I'll pick up some SCAS steaks. Why'd you join back up anyways? Seer and I believe Tantalor could be a refuge for those persecuted by the Empire. Persecuted by the Empire, huh? Gonna get crowded. Arriving at our destination. Welcome to Kobo. Cal! Cal, so glad you're back! You missed all the action! It was horrible! Did something happen? The Raiders paid us another visit. Took a shine to that droid you found. See? They took her, Cal! Carried her right out! She's been droid-napped! My saloon better be okay, Turgle. I think you brought this down on us! I'm innocent, Mr. Grease! Promise! Dagon sent them. He's after Tantalor. There must be something more to Z than we realized. Something scrambled up in her memory banks. We have to rescue her. Once he gets what he wants, he'll scrap her for sure. It won't be easy to get her back. The raider base is in the swamp. They gutted an old Luker Hulk battleship from the Clone Wars. We've seen it. Means they got a lot of firepower. As do we. She's right. Now's our time to move. I like where this is going. They already have what they came for. They're back at the fortress feeling safe, complacent. They'll never see it coming. Maybe not. But if you're wrong, then they'll be looking for payback. Not to worry. I will stay here and look after Grease and the others. You sure? I think you two can manage. Just don't let him swim without supervision. Let me know if you need help. My sex. Name's Mosey. Marin. All right. I'll scout ahead. Meet you there. know about the bile mall lurking in the mountain? Can't say I do. May seem peaceful, but when disturbed, it will charge and trample you. Its thick hide makes it resistant to even the strongest weapons. How would you approach it? Mind your feet. Its spray attack will leave pools of acid on the ground. Good to know. Thanks. Thanks for keeping an eye out while we go after Z. If the Raiders return, we will make them regret it. Reckon we're gonna get along just fine. I think so. So how'd you two meet anyway? 
I'll start it with this Merc crew I joined. Grok had been recruited a few months earlier. On account of my good looks. That's right. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Blubber. Anyways, things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. So we... We took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up dead or in prison. What the car, Grok? I was telling it. Kid doesn't need our whole life story. Uh-uh. Point is, Grok and I realized that we're better off just the two of us. We know the feeling. Hey, Cal. Got some info that might be useful to you. Hey, Monk. Word is you're planning to rescue my new favorite droid. That's the plan. Well, before you go charging in there like a mudhorn through a moisture farm, allow me to give you the lowdown. That raider base is inside a derelict Lucre Hulk battleship. You ever seen one? A few times. Then you know how deadly those things are. It may be grounded, but that ship is still chock full of defense turrets and reprogrammed battle droids. How do you know all this? I read a lot. Listen, just grab Z and skedaddle before the whole hive comes swarming down on you, hmm? Thanks for the advice, Monk. Be careful out there. Hey, Too Locked. From the eye of the storm into the belly of the beast, you must go. Yeah, I know. What ails you, Sojourner? Just wondering how things would have been different if I could have stopped them from taking Z. Do your powers also include omniscience? No, but... Seek only where you wish to go, not where you long to have been. Regret is a mirage that leads many off the path. I know what you are, for what it's worth. Do you now? Sure. The way you carry yourself. That saber on your belt. I won't say anything, of course. Why not? The bounty could be your ticket off-world. And I've already told you enough about my past business to land me in an Imperial intake yard. Guess I'll have to settle for honor among outlaws. Look, I know what it's like to have a losing streak tied around your throat. I respect anyone who keeps fighting, even when the chips are down. You're a hard man to read, Moran. Then, as they say, I still got it. So how'd you go from making sounds on Riosa to becoming a producer? Well, I put together a few rough tracks, handed them out to friends, and things spread word of mouth. Started playing enough gigs to do it full time. Eventually, someone with influence caught a listen as they were passing through. They'd worked with Max Rebo, so I figured they were legit. Max Rebo? That is legit. Exactly. Said they could give me some gigs in the core. When they said core, I heard like Chandrilla. Nah, they meant Coruscant. So that's where I went. Cal! Did you find the spot I was telling you about? Yeah, actually. Thought uh, you might be telling tales. I would never lie to you. I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay, but you're gonna be disappointed. Can't beat what I've got. You know you're gonna buy it. So just buy it. This one. Good luck with it. Some prospectors told me about a strange building. Distinctive entrance, so they say. Could be one of those meditation chambers. Yes, I was thinking the same. Let me know if you find anything, will you? No problem, Toa.
garden's looking kind of respectable. Thanks to your cultivation, I was able to expand our garden. Hi, Peely. So far, Kobo has been a welcoming home. And this rooftop's energy drew me towards it. You feel a connection to this garden? Yes. We will help each other grow. Looks like you've already started. Divines? Yes, they sprouted overnight. But there's so much more to discover. If you plant new seeds, I'll tell you all about them. But, much like healthy roots, do not overextend yourself. Grow the plants we have, and I'll clear more garden space in due time. Got some seeds. Let's get them in the ground. Garden in peace, and you bring peace to all. I'm sure Peely knows something about this plant. Now we wait. This could bring some color to the garden. And now we wait. Let's take this to Doma's.
Well, there it is. about you? Me? <laughs> Not a chance. What are we dealing with? Any sign of the droid? Some kind of service gantry. Could be a way in. It's the best option I can see. Only way to the Lucre Hulk is through this swamp. For you, maybe. You want a ride, BD? <laughs> When you're ready, make a move on that gantry. I'll be watching. Copy that. That's one way not to get mud on your boots, huh? Now we just need to rescue Z. Hard to believe anything could live in this swamp. I guess our friend here makes it work. See that building, buddy? Guess someone does live here. Or did once. Do you think this is worth? Nothing's worth crossing the Raiders. Now move. I'm not leaving you here. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. But we must find my data Let's Check this place out. Can we just to no one? Absolutely not. My entire life is on that data pad. Cal, what are you doing out here? I could ask you the same question, Zig. I came out here to look for Z. Yeah, me too. Ahem. And I am Winnie Eres. Carl, was it? We've only just met, but I could use some assistance. What do you need? I was told there's a bird in this swamp that spots a resplendent blue marsh. But when I tried to get a closer look at one, it snatched my data pad and flew away. Where'd it go? They've got a nest at the top of a spire nearby. I'd go, but Winnie here says I gotta stay by her side. Yes! Yes, that spire there. It's so close, yet so far. I'll see what I can do. You shine like these stars. Oh, <laughs> that's a coruscant saying. Perhaps a more simple. Thank you, Carl. I can't move that, but there's no other way up to the pillar either.
Moving out. <laughs> Gotta keep moving. What'd you find? Yep, still not great. You ever been in a ship this big before, buddy? Been a long time for me. I'm oh, looking forward to it. It's easy in there. We're not leaving without her. There you are. Ready to liberate one slightly eccentric High Republic droid? Yeah. You? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Trouble getting here? Nothing we couldn't handle. How about that swamp? Almost lost a boot. You should see the Shadowlands of Kashyyyk. Now that's a swamp. Yeah, not on my bucket list. Think you can break that coupling? Let's find out. Yeah. 
When in doubt. to come after all. Yeah, she thinks Tantalor could really help the path. All right. But you do seem happier now that she's around. Okay, let's focus. Z needs us. into a freighter on the nav once. Yeah? Any tips? No. It was nothing like a Lucre Hulk. Not sure why I even mentioned it. Could you clear this up? Absolutely. BD? All set, Cal? Good to go. New modifications couldn't hurt.
be too easy. Ah, it's always worth a shot. Scaling a beaten up warship, just like the old days. Where are they going? Check it out.
conquer a whole planet with this. knows we're here now, huh? Happy that Marin joined the crew? Yeah. Glad she wants to help us find Tantalor. Wait, you hear that? Destroyer droids. Perfect. Shield. Ah! Ah! Help him out! 
The time I fought Droidica was with my master during the Clone Wars. I froze. He had to take them out. Look at you now. Bet he'd be proud. Hope so. She didn't just join to find Tantalor, right? Don't know what you're talking about. Whatever you say, Cal. Always on point. Okay, let's see what we have here. A turbo lift. Is that who I think it is inside? Let me get a closer look. Yeah, and Z. Where does it go? The control tower. And that's our target. I see a problem down there. Droids. We've seen worse. Check out those AATs. I've got a plan. Hey, so I figure I make some noise, draw them away, you slip by. Regroup at the turbo lift. What do you think? It's risky. We passed risky a while back. Good luck. You too. Scour this planet for my lost master. When it's time, I'll signal. What signal? Trust me, you won't miss it.
This door's not budging. Tweak a few things.
I'll have to find another way around. Good. Soon you will serve a new master. One way door. Feeling so great, PD. Now to test my work. Droid. Kill them. Roger, roger. Nice try. 
That didn't stop me. He bleeds. Maybe next time, Jedi. Find a way to the turbo lift. Well, let's look for one together. All you, BD. Just what we need. Okay. Technical term is yurts. Living quarters. I saw them on Merrick 9. You've never seen so many yurts. Living quarters? We're in deep now.
not liking that. Droids, and I maintain them. Steam cans you like so much, but very nice. We gotta fight ahead, Cal. I'm the end of you. That ain't a very kind thing to say to me or the droids, you know? I apologize to you. Not the droids, never the droids. Get that down. Consider it done. Coming, Cal? Yeah, I cut this rope down just for you. This is no time to let up, Cal.
this close. I got your back, Cal. That weapon looks painful. I'm with you, Cal.
<laughs> well, that was something. I don't think they like us. How do you think those other compasses went missing? My credits are on Santare Cree. No kidding. If she sends Z to that back to tank, maybe there's more to this story. Rescue Z, get out of here, find Tantalor, and then what? I'm just taking it day by day. Maybe figure something out with Mary? Uh, she's got her path, I've got mine. Yeah, I've heard Jedi avoid attachment, but... That's right. So don't forget who you really are. What's that supposed to mean? It means trust your heart. Things are only getting worse out there. Life is precious, and so is happiness. I wish it were that simple. It is that simple. If you see a future with Marin, embrace it. I don't understand. I, I can't just... Boat. Hey, Clankers! Over here. A little further. Perfect. Thanks. I'll look for another way around. You find that droid. And stay alive. Isn't very inviting. I don't think anyone's been back here in a while, buddy. <laughs> Droids from the forest array. Destroy Z to get what he wants. He's obsessed. We shouldn't have left her at the outpost. We have to get her back. Bro. 
brought to us. We have to get out of here now. Clever. Sometimes the solution to a problem lies in how it's framed. Always consider the situation from multiple angles. Perspective, eh, Seer? I'm good, buddy. Let's go. Let's stop here. Okay, I'm ready. Pulling me under. Gives them access to everything Kree locked down. Disaster. I guess this will never pour it in. Then documenting. Maintenance path should get us topside. I think.
More priorite. Wonder what this will fetch at Doma's shop. Just there. Sorry, old droid, but I promise you're gonna live on. No way of getting through. Get to that turbo lift now.
Centauri, your work is unparalleled. But sending a droid instead of facing me yourself, such cowardice. A small price to pay for her sparing your life. Tell me, did the Jedi's death satisfy you? He escaped. All those years of incarceration dull your edge. Sharp enough to see the Jedi might be your equal. Say it again and I'll cut out your tongue. It'll grow back. <laughs> Dagon, listen. The Jedi is a threat. Not now that we have this. I already duplicated the device's frequencies. We can now access any site she sealed. Well done, Ravis. You, activate the forest array. Go to the Shattered Moon. I know where Centauri hid the last compass. Dagon. After you have it, I will consider my oath to you fulfilled. What then, old friend? The galaxy has changed. There are many wars, but little honor to be won from them. Once we are on Tantalor, perhaps we can dream up a new war. You and I. <laughs> perhaps. Before I go, do you want me to scrap the droid? No. Centauri must have purged the droid's memory bank. Has no knowledge of the compass. I will tear it down to the bolts and reprogram it to serve me as it once served her. He's close. Let's see if Doma's interested in this. Let's stop.
Dagon could be anywhere. Ready, BD? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's see. Let's get you out of there. Do hurry, Cal. He's going to reprogram me. That droid is mine. I suppose I'll rescue myself. So you survived Ravis. How? The usual. You murdered your fellow Jedi. I struck down those who stood against me. Leave us or share their fate? Even if you believe the Council betrayed you, they were still your family. How arrogant that you would presume to know what drives me? What I can see is your obsession with Tantalor has blinded you. Whatever happened, you can't change the past. Trust me on that one. Perhaps you're right. The past is a chain. I must sever it completely. The tuner is mine. The droid is mine. Tantalor is mine. Hang on, Z. That was the plan. Insults. 
little well really ah. rich. Jedi. How The music. Waste of my time. How dare you! Anyone who stands in my way. You will fail. You're weak. You were never truly a Right here, bud. You 
cannot last. Weak. down anyone who stands in my way. Really? Sense your fear. Waste of my time. You fail. You have to try harder. Right here, BD. Scare. How dare you? Really? <laughs> Help me, BD. The music. Wretch. Now. Death awaits you. Cross me again. Tanelor is mine, and I will strike down anyone who stands in my way. A waste of my time.
pity you. Of my time. as ever. You've delayed me long enough. <laughs> You're not getting away that easy. Thanks. Two warriors at the height of their powers bound in brotherhood. This is the stuff of legends. See, I got her. Meet you up there. Let's keep moving. Perhaps that's wise. Dan and Gary is positively mad. He kept going on and on about some compass. Your master created them to navigate the abyss. This is the first I'm hearing about it. She purged that knowledge from your memory. That would explain it. Well, Dagon is certain that she left a compass for him to find. Let's hope so. Dagon sent Ravis to check out another array on the moon. Maybe we'll find it there. Back to the moon. Great. Oh, Master Kree, why did you send me to free that traitor? People are complicated. Maybe she thought the Order got it wrong. If only we could ask her. Save us way out of here. Sure about that? No. Okay, then. You seem nervous. I'm going with him. Hop aboard, Z. <laughs> See you at the outpost. Yep, I'm coming.
Remind me to never do that again. Dagon must have sent Ravis to get the compass. Maybe the forest array powers something on the moon. Uh, it's a guess. But if Ravis is on his way there, that's where we need to be, too. <laughs> Dangerous spot to catch a fish. Sharing stories, we'll listen. And you be a fool, my lad. A sordid tale will bring you nothing but grief and woe. Okay, well, if you're not sharing stories, we'll... Oh, fine, I'll tell you. At your own assistance, and at your own peril. My story begins at a small village on the frozen banks of Sakavi Tarn. My home world. Nights black as quellfish in it. Winter so cold, a stern look can turn you to glass. Doesn't sound like the easiest place to grow up. Difficult, eh? From the moment your mother's milk froze on your tongue to the moment you found it on frozen streets. You see, the fishes, they had the right of it. They dwelt far below the ice, where warm currents danced like ribbons in the wind. To fish so scarce a quarry. On account of the great fish famine, well, it's nearly a mild undertaking. But for all the belly aching now, there's a peaceful enough life for a wee Sakavian with an instinct for the rod. So you discovered your talent early? Such a talent was I, that as a lad, me hardly spotted my first prickly chin here. I was given an audience with Undun. But that'd be a tale for another time. Looks like a data pad to me. Or what's left of one. Come on, let's go break the news. Bad news, Winnie. The data pad was busted beyond repair. Oh, my designs. They're lost forever. Sorry, Winnie. I'll try to scrounge something up for you back at the outpost. Thank you again. Don't mention it.
spot at the bar. And I'm glad you're all right. Lucky Turgle hasn't doomed us all by antagonizing the raiders. Turgle didn't have anything to do with Z's kidnapping. Well, then why did you bother to rescue her? You hardly know her. If I were at the business end of a Bedlam Raider rifle, you wouldn't soak up a blaster bolt for me. I probably would. As I thought, you... you would. Well, that's very decent of you. I leave you in the dust, mind. Nothing personal. Yeah, I figured. There's more music to find out there, Cal. And the searching river is parted by the blade of the stone. What blade? What stone? Which is sharper, stone or water? I wouldn't fight a raider with water if that's what you're suggesting. But is the river's course its birthright? Is this stone too its form? Oh, I thought you had all the answers. Pay attention, Dana. I think she's talking about some treasure. A lot of prospectors around here. Have you ever tried your hand at mining, Prior Ray? Once. I found it. Enlightening. Some prospectors invited me to join them on an expedition. We descended to the mines. But when my back was turned, they fled. They ditched you? Yes. Alone, I calmly walked through the darkness, trusting my intuition. I found another exit. And the prospectors? Dead. Goraco attack. If I had chased them, I would have perished too. Let this be a lesson. Always go your own way. You two getting your fortune read? Trying to. We can't get a straight answer out of this one. Say it again, will you? On shores of silt, a river winds. A bank of guilt, a broken bind. Oh, I get it now. She's saying there's a big score to be had in some silty river. Ah, uh, you only hear what you want to hear. Sounded like a warning to me. One of them ominous ones. What do you make of it, Cal? It's dangerous out there. I trust my own instincts over a fortune. See? Kid gets it. Whoever made the score of a lifetime by being more careful? There he is! I get lined up. Looks like some Hexian hack named Kip Oster has been slinking around Dredger Gorge. This guy likes to catch his prey off guard, so watch your back. Thanks for the tip. Thank you when you turn in his bounty puck. Cal, look at this saloon. Monk's been really busy. And I help by staying out of the way. Did you know there's even a garden on the roof? Yeah, I've seen it. You know what I like about plants? When you talk to them, they can't just walk away. Well, you know, when you first walked in here, I was getting ready to throw you out. Oh, funny. I remember asking myself, am I gonna be the guy who gives this Letero his second prosthetic arm? Oh, yeah, you go ahead and try. <laughs> but seriously, you've done good by us, watching out for the kid. It's like you're... <clears throat> Excuse me. Are those tears in your eyes, Grease? No, no, they're not tears. What, are you kidding me? No, probably smoke or something. Someone smoking in here? No smoking! I got it, Grease, right back at you. And if you ever want to get that arm modded, I know a guy. You got an arm guy? Oh, yeah. Huh. Let me think about it. Tyloons is drawing a crowd. Yeah, it could be words out that I'm the best cook this side of the Hidian Way. Oh, what do you know, BD? You've got no taste buds.
Cal, there you are. Both told me everything. Clothes, pistols, blazing, a real crack shot, straight out of the holiday. <laughs> Easy, Captain. Just trying to debrief. Debrief? Ooh, you hear that? This guy's a pro. How come we never debrief, Cal? Simmer down. You enjoying the spotlight boat? Hmm, like an Imperial cavity search. But I've got to admit, it's great to see everyone excited. Something in your brain? Aye, boy. The subtle art of catching a fish. The art of focus. And in the dark, with nothing but the bristles on your chin for company, that focus is special. From that day forward, when I plunge my line into the frigid waters, it would emerge with a fish. Three times out of seven. That's less than half. Told me that I'd be the one to save them from the great fish famine. Little did I know that the grapnel was soon to arrive on our shores. Gonna assume that's a bad thing. Perhaps, lad. And perhaps not. But that'll be a story for another time. It true then? Nick that droid back from the Raiders, did you? Uh, I don't think we met. Oh, <laughs> lass. Sorry about that. Came at you like a rock, I did. Call me hard. Been here longer than any of these greenhorns. Except Doma. And Gulu. And Guido. And Old Tall, of course. But, uh, she's, uh, Blast, there I go again! Uh, Cal, is it? Right. This is BD. Damn fine to meet you two. Damn fine! Great to see you. Good to see you made it back. How's Pyloons treating you? It's adorably derelict and entirely unique. If this cantina were on Coruscant, you could quadruple the prices and still have lines out the door. Any luck with the data pad? Ask Doma. She's working on it. Thanks again for your help, Cal. Don't mention it. You returned in one piece. You sound surprised. You do have a knack for getting into trouble. Yeah. The boat has an act for keeping me on the right side of blaster fire. A useful quality in a friend. How are you feeling, Z? Much improved, Cal. Now that I am far from that ghost ship. It's seen better days, that's for sure. The same could be said for the entire galaxy, could it not? But it is heartening to see that some bright spots yet remain. That's why we keep fighting. Indeed. I must say, I see vestiges of the Order, my Order, in you and your companions. It is most heartening. Sometimes you know just what to say. I think I'll browse a little. Does this meet your approval? I might have located another meditation chamber, Cal. Where? Inside the valley silo. No one's been inside for some time, but there are rumors. 